I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor and welcome to my blog. What I want to talk about today is the timely release that gubernatorial candidate for Arizona, Jan Brewer, had a DUI accident on May 4th of 1988, 22 years ago. Uh, amazing that it came out right before the election, um, but that's a whole different story. What's interesting is she rear-ended a car on the freeway and police showed up and said she was unsteady on her feet and reeked of alcohol. She said she had one scotch. She was handcuffed, taken to the station, then said she had two scotches. And lo and behold, a lieutenant then shows up. She was a state senator at the time, by the way. And instead of giving her a breath or blood test, they simply uncuff her and she's driven home by two officers and the case is dropped. Well, the individual who was struck followed up with the police saying, what happened? Why was she cut loose? And he was told, well, she is a state legislator and she has immunity. She can't be arrested. This is partially true and partially not true. In the Arizona Constitution, there's protections, and this is also in the U.S. Constitution, that they can't arrest a legislator while they're in session. This prevents political enemies from arresting their foes and keeping them from showing up at a vote. But she was already arrested. All they had to do was call it an investigatory detention, have her give a breath test, and then drive her home. Don't book her into jail, just write her a ticket and cut her loose. In fact, that's what they always used to do back in 1988. Instead, they let her walk out of there, her body burned off all the evidence, and she got away with it. And what I mean by got away with it is I don't mean she got away with the DUI. She got away with not being tested, with an official record being out there of whether she may or may not have been above the legal limit. And I have a real problem with this. Um, here's a person running for governor who has advocated for tougher DUI laws. Back in her day, she would have gotten either one day or zero days. Nowadays, it's a mandatory minimum of one day, which is a mandatory minimum of 30 days if she was above a 1.5 blood alcohol, or a mandatory minimum of 45 days if she was above a 2.0. She was the person who helped advocate for these laws. I would have liked to have known what her reading was back then to see if she'd be so quick to put a first offender in jail for a month and a half on their very first DUI. Um, but that's what I think. Tell me what you think.